Hi viewers, welcome back to Eduvox. In this video, we will be guiding you the development regulations for building a residence or flats in Chennai and other areas within Tamil Nadu. In this video, we will be covering the classifications of non irise residential building and explaining you how to calculate FSIs and parking requirements for residential building, regulations for group developments and structures allowed in setbacks. Before getting in, we should know what this TNCDBR is all about. Any building constructed in Chennai and other parts of Tamil Nadu should follow this TNCDBR February 2019 building rules. This book has new set of rules entitling Tamil Nadu Combined Development and Building Rules 2019 for buildings in Tamil Nadu. This came into effect as per GO number 18 dated 4 to 2019. This one is available for public reference in CMDA website. Under these rules, the government of Tamil Nadu revised and reissued various existed building rules under various acts for corporation, municipalities, town panchayats and village panchayats. non high rise versus high rise residential buildings all buildings not exceeding 18.30 meter in height which is 60 feet are considered as non high rise building as per tn cdbr all buildings exceeding 18.30 meter height that is 60 feet is considered as a high rise building in tn cdbr non high rise residential buildings are divided into two categories ordinary residential buildings and group developments in ordinary residential buildings individual residences duplex houses will be covered and in group developments flats and rows will be covered requirements for site approval number 1 is location of building and the second one is reconstitution deed location of building site within 15 meters of any tank reservoir water course river fresh water channel or well are not permitted to build unless to get a clarification from development authority reconstitution deed if a development is proposed in more than one plot or a site reconstitution of the individual site into one site in reconstitution deed format and then submitted to authority by the applicant planning parameters for residence and flats up to 300 square meters that is plot extent of 1.35 grams we can build ground for a residence or a g plus 1 for residences and still plus 2 floors and still plus 3 floors still plus 2 floors we can have duplex house and flats and still plus 3 floors we can have a flats and penthouses planning parameters for non high rise building for up to 16 dwelling units or with a site extent of up to 3230 square feet so this tabular column shows the planning parameters it has three tabular three tabulations which has continuous building area economically weaker sections and other areas so the minimum road width required for any development in a continuous building area or a economically weaker section areas are 10 feet and other areas it is 20 feet and 20 feet and above so the maximum height allowed for a building construction is based on the road width in a continuous building area and a economically weaker section areas ground plus two floors or a sill plus three floors subject to a maximum of 40 feet height is allowed in other areas up to 20 feet road width we can build ground plus first floors and still plus two floors if it is more than a 20 feet above road width then we can go for still plus three floors subject to a maximum of 40 feet height so the maximum number of dwelling units allowed in continuous building area and economically weaker section areas are 16 units restricted in other areas it is up to 18 residential units only allowed So the maximum FSI floor space index allowed in all these three areas will be 2.0. FSI calculation can be done in either of the way. Floor space index allow FSI is actually a for calculating a allowable built-up area. The FSI has to be multiplied with the plot area. So the actual plot area into the allowable FSI, which is 2.0. For example, if it is a one ground plot, which is 2,400 square feet. then the allowable fsi of 2 will be allowing 2 into 2400 which will gives you 4800 square feet of built up area the other way the floor space index can be calculated as floor space covered in all floors divided by area of the plot and about the setbacks so the setbacks is usually depends upon the street alignment or from the road or from the property boundary so usually the front setback will be for continuous building area the front setback will be 5 feet standard and for the economically weaker section it is 3 feet 3 inches in other areas of road width 
the front setback will depend upon the width of the road so if the width of the road is 30 feet up to 30 feet the front setback will be 5 feet if the width of the road is from 30 to 60 feet then you have to leave 10 feet as a front setback if the width of the road is more than a 60 feet and within 100 feet then you have to leave 15 feet as your front setback and it is above 100 feet then you have to leave 20 feet wide as your front setback so the front setback will depend on the width of the road and about the side setback side setback for the continuous building area is nil and about the other areas it depends on the height of the height of your building that is number of floors you are proposing up to 23 feet height if you have plot having a width of 30 feet then you have to leave one side 3 feet 3 inches as your side setback one side setback is enough and if your plot is having a more than 30 feet width then you have to leave both sides 3 feet 3 inches and for the height of the building is up to 40 feet then for the first 20 feet plot width 3 feet 3 inches on one side is enough and for the 30 feet it is 5 feet on both sides is required and for above 30 feet it is all around 5 feet you have to leave and about the rear setbacks for continuous buildings and economically weaker section no need to leave a rear setback and for the other buildings it again depends upon the height of the building so the rear setbacks will be from 23 feet to 40 feet it is 5 feet 0 inches so this image shows front setback side setback and rear setback if the plots having more than a two rows then the larger roads are considered as plot frontage and front setback is considered for the larger roads planning parameters for flats having a land extent of more than 1.35 grounds if the plot extent is more than a 1.35 grounds we can go for still plus 3 still plus 4 or still plus 5 considering flats and penthouses for the development so this table column is for unit uh, for having more than 16 units and having a plot extent of more than 3230 square feet so uh, for minimum road width required is 30 feet whether it is in a continuous building area or other area if you have if you are building more than a 16 units 60 residential unit then you have you have to have a minimum road width of 30 feet and the maximum height allowed is 60 feet where you can build still plus five floors and maximum fsi allowed is 2.0 meter so again here the front setback is same as like uh, what the road with this actually so from 30 to 60 it is 10 feet as a front setback and 60 feet to 100 feet it is 15 feet as your front setback if it is more than 100 feet then you have to leave 20 feet as your front setback and about the side setback and rear setbacks so for more than a 16 units side setback and rear setbacks are common so it again depends on height of the building like up to 23 feet you have to leave 3 feet 3 inches as your side and rear setback and 23 to 40 feet you have to leave 5 feet as your side and rear setback and up to 52 feet 6 inches you have to leave 8 feet 3 inches and if your building is still plus 5 floors 60 feet then you have to leave 10 feet all around and if you are proposing a two blocks in a group development then the distance between the two blocks should be minimum 6 meter that is 220 feet and about the parking requirements for units having floor area more than a 25 meter square and up to 50 meter square one two wheel parking space is enough one two wheel parking space is enough and for the unit having 75 square meters you have to leave one car parking space and the unit is 150 meter square then you have to leave two car parking space area of special character these are the places where you need to apply additional guidelines based on different zone classification for example it is a continuous building area the following norms is applicable buildings without side setbacks are permissible in a plot or a site in continuous building areas declared by the local body as cba with the approval of dtcp directorate of town and country planning ews plots economically weaker section areas these areas are declared as a slum by Tamil Nadu slum clearance board are categorized as EWS areas for the purpose of these regulations. In addition, it includes the area developed as EWS plot in Tamil Nadu housing board neighborhood schemes, sites and service schemes, slum improvement schemes and approved layout. CRZ areas. Development in these areas shall be regulated with reference to CRZ classification and the regulations notified by Government of India under Section 3 of Environment Protection Act 1986. Conservation zones in the heritage town. Any new construction of building or use of premises in the conservation zones shall conform to the special guidelines relating to height, 
use etc and transit oriented development area in order to encourage transit sensitive activities premium fsi is allowed in these corridors structures allowed in setback spaces sun shades not exceeding 0.6 meter is allowed and motor room of an area not exceeding 2 square meters without affecting the parking and driveway requirements and open single flight or a spiral staircase or a open double flight staircase so long as such structure do not fall within 0.5 from the site boundary or 1 meter from the rear or front boundary of the site is allowed in the setback spaces in addition watchman booth not exceeding 2.5 by 2.5 in size is allowed meter rooms for meter boxes or electrical panels along the boundary wall or extend walls of the building with the projections not exceeding 0.6 meter and the open transformers without affecting parking and driveway subject to the safety measures stipulated by tamil nadu electricity boards are allowed in setback spaces thank you